Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about profit calculations and uh, how you calculate total profit and how you calculate profit percentage. These are things that are super important for a business and hopefully you'll find this video useful. So a simple definition of profit, this is basically it's um, the final selling price minus the total cost. So for example, if you had uh, sold something for, uh, let's say you sold uh, sold a rug for $100, um, say your total costs were $80, then profit equals 100 minus 80 equals 20. Okay, and uh, break even means, uh, for example, the total cost equals final selling price, and losing money means total cost more than the final selling price. Okay, so normally we want profit to be positive. Because if it this if this um, if it's zero, that's uh, business isn't really going anywhere, and if it's negative, that means basically it's losing money, and that could be a big problem. Okay, so but real quick about profit. Initially, a profit might not be profitable. Initially, a product might not be profitable. For example, if you're selling something in e-commerce. Um, maybe you can only buy in low volume quantity, like on um, try try on AliExpress. Uh, you might actually lose money, but that's okay. Um, but eventually, you want to be able to make profit. And uh, like I said, eventually you need to be able to make profit. Um, no business is sustainable long term if it never makes a profit. So profit is essential. Um, it's essential for growth and uh, and much more. Okay, so at the end of the day, companies need to make profit, and if they don't, um, basically they'll never grow. And maybe eventually they'll basically die. So profit is an essential thing in capitalism and any business. Okay, so let's move on to calculations now. So, um, this is a simple example. A total profit is the selling price minus the total cost. When I talk about this. Uh, this is a simple example. For example, your United States or Canada. Uh, so most of the world's taxes uh, for government sales tax or VAT usually the price that a customer uh, sees in a store tax is already included there. But U.S. and Canada and some others, the price usually is more than what the a customer sees, so they pay tax on top of what already they see the price as. So this is just a simple example. A total profit is selling price minus total cost. For example, you're selling a widget for $100. The cost of everything is $85. Your profit is uh, the difference, which is $15. Let's say you're selling a toy for $40. Um, cost of everything is $35. Then your profit is that, three minus $35, which is $5. Profit percentage is profit over the total cost. Um, so in the first example here, profit is $15. Total cost was 85. So what you do is um, basically this was the profit and you'll divide by the total cost. That ends up being, um, if you do the calculations, it's about 17.6% profit. 
So that's what profit percentage tells you. And I think that's a decent profit uh, percentage. Um, the most that profit percentage can ever be is 100%. Um, generally, you want a, a profit percentage, let's say, at least 10%. Um, ideally, can even like up to 30%, because then you could afford to pay for ads and things like that. Okay, here's another example. Um, going back to that, what I said before, selling it for $40, costs are 35. So you divide by, this is the profit, divide by the cost. And then you, uh, this is what the profit percentage would be. Okay, so now this is the more complicated way to do it, but this is the way to do it for most of the world. Um, say you're in China, Japan, Australia, Singapore, Colombia. As far as I know, all of Europe. So most of the world has it to where the uh, the sales tax is already included in the final price the customer pays, but that also makes it slightly more complicated to determine profit, but that's okay, I'm gonna walk you through. Okay, so the first thing to do, it, um, assuming that the, the VAT, the, the the sales tax is included in um, um, is, is included in the price uh, customer sees listed. Okay, so this is assuming that um, anyway, the the price that they see in the store is what they actually pay. They don't pay that plus additional tax. Tax is already. So the first thing you need to do here is determine, uh, specifically for profit, you need to determine the price excluding the GST or the VAT. And um, price excluding the VAT, this is something we need to discover. Price including VAT is something that you'll set as the seller. And the VAT rate is uh, based on the country. So for example, let's say we're talking about the Netherlands. It's a VAT rate of 21%. Let's say you want to, um, but the final price to be 100 euros. Uh, to, ter to, to determine what the price without the VAT is, to do 100 euros over one plus 0.21 this, and you end up getting that the um, the actual price that the seller, this is the actual amount of money the seller is getting. Uh, the rest above this, this is the tax going to the government. And you can confirm this by doing 82.64 times 1.21. And that should be about, uh, should be about 100. So why don't I just do that here? Um, do that in Google. Okay, so it's 99.99. So it's about 100. Okay. Um, and give you an example, Singapore. I don't know where Singapore is. This is Malaysia, this is Indonesia, and Singapore is just a dot there. Singapore is 9%, and I'm going to give you some other examples as well. Okay, so how do you calculate the profit? Okay, so you have to determine first the price excluding the tax. Once you have that, then you can get the total profit. It's the price excluding the VAT minus the total cost. So for example, if total cost was 70 euros, and for example, let's say uh, this was the selling price excluding the VAT, then you would subtract these, and this is what the total profit would be. 
and the uh, profit percentage um, that is like the four calculations do the total profit over the total cost and in this case um, the total profit was um, 12 euros 64 and divide that by the total cost the total cost the I um, Oh yeah, it was uh, over 70. Do that calculation here. Okay, and then if you multiply this by 100, that's going to be about 18%. Uh, so that's pretty good. So now let's go um, into more specific examples. And I'll quickly mention here again, this is something that's kind of important. Um, again, cases where a sales tax is included in the final price to the customer, this is most countries. So uh, as far as I know, all of South America, I was in Colombia. Panama is, is a special case. Um, just all of Europe, all of Europe, I think. Uh, China, Japan, India, Singapore, Australia. I don't know about Africa, but I think probably they would be as well. Okay, cases where sales tax is not included to the final price, uh, final price the customer sees. That would be the US and Canada and some other places. By this, I mean, for example, if you have um, a chocolate bar for $1 listed at the store, the customer is going to pay $1 plus some tax. But if you were selling a $1 bar in Colombia, it would most likely be the customer just pays $1 and the seller actually gets less than $1 and the seller has to pay a tax to the government. But um, that's just how it works. So personally, I actually prefer as a buyer where the, the price I see is the price I actually pay. But it's more complicated for the seller. But interestingly, it's very annoying for buyers if you have to at the price you see and then you pay additional tax on it. It's actually easier for the seller to calculate profit calculations that way. Okay, so let's move on here. Oh, and Panama is a special case. I was here for about a month recently. And uh, it's kind of bizarre. Because sometimes some stores will do it this way. And sometimes they'll do it this way. Panama um, uses the US dollar. Um, I don't know. It, maybe they kind of have a hybrid between Korean US style. Because uh, Panama used to be part of Colombia, and uh, Panama Canal used to be controlled by the U.S. Um, so anyway, Panama is kind of a hybrid. Most of the world is either one of these. The other, usually they pick one and they stay consistent about it. Okay, so let's do some examples here. So let's say uh, we're in Australia, okay? Australia and the tax rate is 10%. So yes, if uh, if you're a store, if you're in a store in Australia in Melbourne or somewhere Gold Coast, the price you see is the price you pay. Tax is already included. So these are some calculations. Uh, this is total profit, profit percentage. These are probably the most important columns you want to know. But um, Price list to the customer, for example, 100. Australia, um, so this was based on the, um, this, this equation, and I showed you these examples. Um, you, you do the um, final price divided by one plus the um, tax rate. That's how you get the price before sales tax. 
assuming you're including the sales tax in the price um, as the seller. And um, the total cost here, I just put them all as 70, but that's just arbitrary. The total cost is going to depend on, um, you'll have to find out from your supplier. Knowing total cost is, is quite important. Should add that here. So super important things to know. Um, so all costs, price you want to sell, tax rate, information, Bill tax B the price the customer sees initially or will the customer pay tax after? In addition to the price they see. So these are all super important to get the profit information. And for example, how how do you determine all costs? So for example, sourcing from Alibaba is something I do. So you can get the all the prices supplier. For example, you have the item shipping um say from from China to country, item costs, and then have some taxes. But um, say, for example, ask your supplier for this in. So that's uh, that's costs, but these are anyway things that are super important. And um, okay, let's do an example with Japan. So Japan has uh, last I checked GST of about ten percent. And for example, say the price is one hundred yen. Price before the that assuming you're including sales tax in uh, the price the customer initially sees. Um, again, you're using this uh, this formula. It's the final, final price the customer sees divided by one plus the rate. And that's what all of these are doing. So for, and then um, total profit. Total profit is, um, I put it as J7 minus L7. This is the price before the VAT minus the total cost. That was uh, price before the VAT minus the total cost. That's how you do it again in, in most of the world, Australia, Singapore, China, uh, uh, Europe. So the VAT GST, uh, the other main system in the world is the U.S. and Canadian system. And there are sort of strange countries like Panama that are sort of hybrids. Uh, and I know this because I, I live there in Panama and sometimes they do it one way, sometimes they do it the other and it's it's kind of bizarre. Different stores do it different. Okay, Netherlands, they have a 21% rate. And for example, uh, I think this is a similar calculation I did, but uh, the price the customer sees is 100 euros. This is the actual price before the VAT. So this is the actual money the seller will get. The rest of the money after this goes to the government. And the total profit is this, excuse me, it's um, total profit is 
this minus the total cost and profit percentage is just this number over the total cost. In this case, it happens to be about 18%. Similarly for Singapore, they have a rate right now this year, about 9%. And if you sold something to a customer for 100 Singapore dollars, this is the actual amount of money the seller will get. And um, any money above this goes to the government. Say their total cost was 70. Total profit is just going to be this minus the total cost. Of that profit percentage is just this number. Total cost. Okay, so let's talk about um, USA and Canada. Okay, so US is um, unique in that it has um, quite a lot of tax districts. So you might you might know that U.S. has 50 states, but it also has a lot of territories. And uh, the U.S. actually has more than 30,000 postal codes or zip codes. Each one of those postal codes or zip codes can have their own tax rate. Uh, so it can be very complicated. But let's just say for simplicity that you have 50 different states and each one could have different tax rates. Um, so for example, let's say that um, somewhere, I can't really tell, New York City is somewhere up here. Their tax rate is 8.875%. So if you're charging something, say $100, the customer is going to pay $100 plus this additional rate. So the price the customer actually pays is um, um, one. So anyway, it's just going to be one plus this uh, times this. This is the price the customer. So this is what the customer actually pays. Okay, so let's imagine their the total cost was seventy. Okay. Um, so just to be clear, this is the amount of money the uh, the seller gets, 100. Anything above this goes to the government. And then um, to get the total profit, it's just this number minus the total cost, which is 30. Profit percentage is just total profit over total cost. In this case, it's 30 over 70. Okay. So uh, profit, um, going back to the original profit, is super important. It depends on the country you're in. The calculations are a bit more complicated outside of the US and Canada seller, but it's more convenient for buyers in the other system. Regardless, um, this is how you calculate profit and profit percentage. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.